you know those like wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube men at like car dealerships? <laughs> That's what his body feels like when you're going against him. A solid torso with like four giant worms as limbs that can just do anything. It's very, very irritating. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime you look at him over there, you know he's talking shit. He's always, you know, talking shit. Craig, you have a calendar and you like mark off like who to piss off that day. <laughs> Like the whole fuck Craig Jones thing. I didn't understand why they said that. <laughs> fuck this guy. Fuck you, Craig Jones. Hate you. Fuck you. This fucking guy. Such a dickhead. Such a fucking prick. Now I'm fully yeah. behind it. What's up, guys? Craig Jones here. You're watching the B Team YouTube channel, home of Mexican ground karate. All right, guys, bring it back in. Guys, so we go for the turning escape. So we're here, we give a strong turning escape, we meet resistance, we head pummel, and we come up. Even if I get my head in front, if Nick can place my arm under his armpit here and reinforce it, there's no amount of forward pressure I can do that'll relieve this pressure. He can hip in, and he's gonna get a, a pretty nasty break at this point. So if we do, if, they, if you see them pass it under the armpit here, Stop coming forward and just try to limp your arm out. At least bait and I'm a platter. I mean, sometimes you're gonna get your arm straight out. Sometimes as you turn, nickel exchange. But obviously, much safer position in no gi than it would be in the gi, or much safer than where we initially were. So we got our grips, we hit a strong turning escape. But we meet resistance, I can't turn anymore. Nick starts applying pressure. I pummel my head inside and grab that knee. Nick counters it again though. So make sure you guys, your uh, training partners know, so you at least get one finish here. So Nick tests it out, it's strong. So then we try to turn our thumb down and limp arm out. If Nick places it under the armpit and I keep coming forward, it's just gonna get worse and worse for me. So obviously this armbar escape is not gonna turn into a guard pass if they get the hand under the armpit. We're gonna turn and limp arm out. Strong turning escape, frees up our second hand. We pummel our head under, they pass it under the armpit, and we limp arm out. So we try to turn, we try to sit up, and then we have to limp arm out. Give that a shot guys, three, two, one. People get pretty intimidated coming into a, a gym full of sort of pros or semi-pro athletes and stuff. They think probably it's gonna be a dangerous environment. Especially some of the guys in here are notorious for heel hooks. So obviously people are already scared of heel hooks. But what I really try to emphasize here is that there's really no reason to ever apply submission. As if you can control someone, you can break him. So really, um, there's this common misconception in jiu-jitsu is that guys escape because you weren't trying to finish the submission. Really, you should be able to control someone without applying the submission. And today we sort of covered that with um, the armbar escapes. That's probably one of the best examples of um, you trying to break training partners can actually be detrimental to your uh, submission game. Because the highest level of submission control would be can you threaten an armbar without applying an extension? Can you then counter them trying to hit a turning escape, a hit striker, or trying to sit up? And can you control them from there without applying the submission? So the way we do it in here is, I mean, for the sake of the drill today, I said hold it for three to five seconds. But that's, the same thing applies in regular training. And that's for visitors. I hope all visitors, uh, we're gonna make a safety video, so hopefully all visitors apply the same to the guys at trainer as the guys at trainer apply to visitors. And that is, there's no reason to apply an armbar to full extension. You just lock it at that range and see if you can control your training partner. If they can't turn, if they can't sit up, you can obviously break the arm. But there's no reason to uh, actually break the arm. So that's a way we can train uh, aggressively and at a high level without actually injuring anyone. And I really wanted to show that today because uh, I want people to understand that when they come in here that just because there's a lot of high level guys doesn't mean it's unsafe. Because a lot of the videos we put out, a lot of crazy wrestling scrambles and people probably think, oh my God, what a crazy, crazy place to train. But as you can see, we apply uh, very, very safe strategies to the, to the submission game as sort of evidenced by the, the armbar drills we did today. So that was dangerous because he's already got the wrist. You know what I mean? He already had the wrist prior to the break. Go back to here. Vince has an elbow deep hook. So you want to already start walking away and I want you to throw your arm as relaxed as possible like this. Okay. 
And if it's loose, when Vince tries to re-extend it, sometimes he pulls it too far. But if you're resisting here, and Vince grabs the wrist, if you're holding it tense, he gets control over that wrist super easy. So I want this arm to be like, like a strand of spaghetti. Okay. Yes, sir. I'd be scared too though, Vince and Arso, you know. <laughs> Craig is uh, going into ADCC this year. He's looking really good. He's, I've seen um, he's improved a lot. I think his wrestling has improved a lot. He's always busy. He's always uh, doing seminars and podcasts and always looking to um, work. So he's a, he works hard. Um, he's a really funny guy. Um, he likes to talk shit, likes to shit on people, um, and he likes to have fun in that way. This whole thing like, is thanks to him. He definitely helped orchestrate this entire team uh, setting up and, and getting out here. He's been out here the longest. Like We've all, we've all had to go for our own reasons. Like, I had to go for surgery. Nicky Rod wasn't here for a bit. He was stuck in Puerto Rico. Uh, Nicky Ryan too. So Craig's been here the longest. So he's been like on the ground getting stuff done, setting up the gym, uh, him and Seth. So massive thanks to Craig for doing all that. Um, and yeah, he's behind all the dumb shit you see. Like all the stupid jokes, the Creante Kai, Mexican ground karate, any, any dumb joke you hear coming out of the B team, it's coming from Craig. That, that's for sure the case, so yeah. Anytime Craig teaches, we were just doing some of the Craig stuff from previous classes. Craig is different from everybody else just because it's like everything is super unorthodox. Mm -hmm. And it's like really, really difficult to replicate. So like if you can figure out one of the moves he does that's unorthodox, then you have seemingly a leg up on everybody else because right, it's right. like his own th version of some common thing. Mm -hmm. And yeah. the most common stuff, like the uh, cross face. Like cross I've face. never seen anybody do it the way he does it. And the front head lock. And the front head lock. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Front yeah. head lock. Yeah. And like those armbar escapes, like we don't usually get to train like uh, the late escapes. Yeah, yeah. Like at other academies that I've been to, we don't we don't get to work on that kind of stuff. So it's nice to be here and uh, working on the, the late escapes because and, and knowing that your partner's not going to rip your arm off too when you're, when you're working on it. Yeah.
Yeah, yeah, that's right. Ah, damn it! You this upon yourself. How? You said you're gonna take me down. Yeah, you don't want to start standing. Well, I gave you a leg. On the ground. <laughs> so get your shoes off, get on there. Come on, Charles. We did wrestle this morning, and I believe I put you down. I wasn't here this morning. Where did we wrestle then? Yesterday, yesterday. When did I hump you? Was it today or yesterday? <laughs> Maybe finger yeah. No, you did that too? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> You've already lost that. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Stop resisting. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Didn't you shower already? <laughs> I'm too much of a nice guy. <laughs> He's angry. I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna it. let you guys know. Like, right now I'm chilling. I'm 21, right? 21. This is on a record. I've been here for four weeks. I didn't train for six months. I was training for for six months twice a week. Bro, can I have some, can I have some of these excuses for my next loss? No. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. About two years from now, I'm gonna have a super fight with Craig. Yeah. Yeah. I'm long gone by then. Super fight, you can't. But my rule set. My rule set. Huh? My rule set? There is points involved. Three minutes, you can't pull guard. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I know. <laughs> oh man, he's getting to me. <laughs> I need to hold get back. Time to have him, man. Come on, stay strong. Stay strong. Stay strong. We're in his head. We're in his head. He's in his. You're in my head right now. But I said, keep speeding. No, no. Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? No, did you know? This is, I'm not even kidding. Last night, I went to sleep telling that Isaac I'm going to fuck Craig up in the morning. <laughs> I woke up this morning, first thing I said was that. Yeah. But did it happen? No, not yet. <laughs> not yet. What's up, guys? Welcome to B-Team today. Uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of scrimmage wrestling. I'm going to show some different finishes from singles, attacking the waist, putting your partner down to the mat.